Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Where are we? That's what you're wondering. Well, difficult to explain, but we're just about to join the bypass road, which is the purpose-built road in to allow people to get from the airport down to the hotels, down to Kedapathos, bypassing Yeriskupu. There's the sign there. Airport is to the right, Kedapathos is to the left. And we're going to go left. And we're going to be on the purpose-built dual carriageway, as I've said. But I warn you now, if you're in a car, hired a car, stolen a car, borrowed a car, or someone's even loaned you a car, do not speed anywhere in Paphos, to be honest. The boys in blue, well, they are quite simply waiting for you. And it's very, very easy to get tempted to speed because all around you, there are cars that are speeded. I say to everyone, the actual speed limit in and around Paphos on the whole is 50 kilometers an hour. The boys in blue are very, very generous to you and they allow you to do 19 kilometers. Yes, you heard me correctly, 19 kilometers over the speed limits before they're gonna zap you. So travel around at around about 60 kilometers and guess what? You haven't even got to worry about the brake pedal. If you see one of the boys, you can just wave at him and he'll give you a smile as he tugs on his cigarette and slurps on his frappe. Because to be honest, he really, really doesn't want to pull you over. They don't like to work at all. They like to just stand around doing nothing. And I mean that in the nicest possible way. You're never going to meet nicer policemen than Cypriot policemen. I promise you that. Every time I've come into contact with them, they're always smiling and laughing, even when they're giving you a ticket. They, and they say to you, why are you speeding? And I said to one once, well, I'm stupid. And what he said to me was, well, you're not stupid, but please slow down. There we go. And I said, what about the mobile phone? He said, I'm going to ignore that one. I'm just going to do you for the speeding. And I think I was doing 142 kilometers an hour, if I remember rightly. And he told me, if I put that down, you'll lose your license. So I'm going to put it down that you're doing 127. You see what I mean? Good, good people. So treat them with respect. Don't give them any abuse. If they pull you, ask them what's wrong. Produce your documents. And nine times out of ten, unless you're speeding excessively, they're going to let you go. And I mean that. That's the truth. So, where are we now? We're coming up to the little roundabout that allows us to get down to downtown paradise. And I think we will go straight. Because if we go to the left, if you understand, there's a bit of big diggering going on and you can't get down to the harbour. So we'll go this way straight and I'm going to take you to the harbour and see what's going on today. And again, a warning you, the roads, please, please do not speed. There's a lay-by coming up. And more often than not the boys in blue are sitting there although at the moment it's a little bit too early for them they are planning their days at the moment they're planning which coffee shop to go to at 10 o'clock which one to go at 11 o'clock i think you're getting the idea because there's a lot of frappes to be drunk and they're also planning their cigarette route and where they're going to go for lunch and uh, what time they can knock off there we go see they take policing very very seriously in cyprus well, probably not, but it's the best way. It's like it was in the UK and possibly in the rest of Europe, probably in and around the 60s, quite lax. Unless you're doing something extreme, you can get away with it. There we are. Miss Andrea, what am I doing? Why have I come to a complete stop at these traffic lights? I just do not know. They are very frustrating. Traffic lights slow the world down. And of course, as they do more and more road improvements, they're putting up more and more traffic lights and zebra crossings and things but there we go rant over mr andy there we are so we're heading towards well this road is going to take us to the pathos mal roundabout if you understand we're going to come to a crossroads and at that crossroads you can go down to the back end of bar street or up russian road that's a familiar term now with most people who watch the channel and then we're going to keep straight over that crossroads and we're going to come to the pathos mal roundabout at that roundabout we are going to take a left down to the harbour if we go straight we would go on to tomb of the king's avenue and if we were to go right we would go up in towards the well, midtown pathos and on up to the old town so slowly if you watch the channel and listen very carefully you never know now and again i might give you a useless little bit of information and you might learn where something is you never know 
Big shout out to some of the people who support the channel. How's the channel supported? Well, you click through to our about page or hunt us down or buy me a coffee. Find the little buy me a coffee icon, hit it once or twice, that's how the channel's funded. We take your money and pop it in the petrol tank or the benzene tank as I say. The travel man making special videos for you. And if you want a special, special video, all you have to do is drop it in the comments and tell us what you want me to do. And if we can, we will go and do it. Simple as that. This is the crossroads, big church for a reference point on the left here. And if you go out to the left, you can go down towards Bar Street. And if you go to the right, you go up Russian Road. Now talking about Gumbaros in blue, there's one actually pulled up alongside me. And they're both having a chat and they've got a frappe in one hand and a cigarette in the other. And uh, they're planning on what to do next. They're thinking, I know, we'll go and get a bit of suvla for breakfast or something like that. But like I say, I got a lot of respect for the police. Always have everyone in the world, to be honest. I've never had any problems with policemen. I've always found if you treat them with respect, they normally treat you with respect. And normally, they don't beat you. And normally, they don't shoot you. So, Miss Andrea, here we are again, stuck at traffic lights. Absolute chaos. Bane of my life, isn't it? So let's let this police boy get ahead of us. There he is, with his blue lights flashing. A lot of people have asked this. Why do they drive around with their blue lights flashing? Well, that's to tell you that they are police, I suppose. But just because one comes up behind you with their blue lights flashing, that doesn't mean he wants you to stop. Well, what it means is that he's a policeman. And then talking about policemen, that's an unmarked policeman there, that white Land Cruiser. The preference for cars is Land Cruisers. So they've got marked Land Cruisers and they've got unmarked Land Cruisers. So that's CID. So I presume that those are in hot pursuit of the boys with the marked police car. And they're off somewhere for a frappe, more than likely. Anyway, here we are, Paphos Mal roundabout. So Paphos Mal is there on the right hand side. We're gonna go down to the left and see what's going on in the downtown Cato Paphos Harbour. Slowly it's starting to get busier. Where are we now? Just coming up to 9.30 in the morning. So more and more businesses should be open. They open around about 10 o'clock. Quite relaxed in Paphos, quite lazy if you understand. But of course the day lasts a long, long time. Because, uh, well, even at this time of year, at the end of April, it's still not too cold if you're out and about at eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Light jacket, perhaps if you come from the UK but you're not gonna need a, a bomber jacket and a hoodie and all those kind of things. So here we are, this area now, there's catacombs to the left and to the right is the Paphos Skywalk. What's the Paphos Skywalk you hear? What is it? Well, it's a structure made out of metal that takes you above the road and allows you to walk above the catacombs. And then eventually if you go on a bit of off-roading, you get to go to an old area where you can stand and look back towards downtown Cato Paphos and of course the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. Um, I'm not gonna say it's spectacular, but I'm gonna say it's worth the walk. So it's gonna take you 10 minutes to do it, if you understand me, and at the moment it's free of charge. And if you are down in the harbour area, it's gonna take you, what, 10, 15 minutes to get from the harbour to the Paphos Mile Roundabout, which is where the Paphos Sky Walk is. So, well worth doing. And uh, I would do it probably not in July and August, because it's gonna be a bit hot, or do it early or later in the afternoon, shall we say. So this is the road that takes you from the Paphos Mile roundabout straight down to Kena Paphos, and it's straight into the harbour area. And of course, the view will be spectacular. The sea is blue, the sky is blue. Mr. Paul is dressed head to toe in blue. So all that's actually missing is you. So I want to get yourself on a big bird or a canoe. It's not panda like crazy, it's a promise you, Cyprus is waiting for you. The businesses slowly are starting to open and some of the restaurants will be open for around about nine if you want a breakfast. But of course, most people are in hotels, so they like to take it nice and easy and chill out. There we are, Cato Paphos Harbour. There's the big boy, that's the ocean vision. Lots of boat cruises, lots of smaller trips. They can have private trips as well. There's fishing boats, cruising boats, there's ones that go out towards Lachi and the Blue Lagoon and all those kind of things. So it's a boat trip for just about everyone, that's for sure. And that's the entrance to the harbour just over there. And as you can see, there is some railings and all these kind of things. But slowly but surely, it's going to get finished, I promise you that. And uh, 
it's going to come back better than it was before. What are they doing today? Oh, they're putting some canopies up, see? So for sure the canopies are coming along. Give them another few days and I'll dismount and go and do an oven foot update because I think that the harbour is going to be even more spectacular than it was before. To be honest, I think before, when you look through it all, the people, it was starting to look a bit scruffy. So it was due for the refurb and the refurb has been, should we say, almost completed. And when it's finished, it's going to be much, much better than it was before. This is the main car parking area, by the way, to the rear of the Harbour restaurants. Often people think when the big Harbour car park is full, there's nowhere to park. Well, if you wiggle and waggle to the rear of the restaurants here, you'll find this area and there's plenty of parking. Obviously, at the moment, they're using it to store some of the supplies while they are doing the actual Harbour area. But if we look down carefully now between those two buildings, we can see that the flooring has actually been completed in that area. But isn't that a beautiful view out across some of the boats? And the beauty of that blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. Truly spectacular. It really, really is. If you're looking for somewhere special to come for your holidays, I think that Paphos should be at the very, very top of your list. I think Paphos has got something special. It's not a huge resort. It's a nice sized resort. Very, very friendly resort. I'm not saying you can't get yourself into trouble. I think you understand what I'm saying. But you're the one that's going to go looking for that trouble. You can be pretty safe to know that your children, if they're out on their own, they're going to be fine. I'm thinking of J and T Mac. They're coming to Paphos in about 10 days now. Sophie's coming with them. JJ and Mac, these are their children. They're not children anymore. You know, Sophie's 16, JJ's 18. If they go for a wander on their own, I know that Tracy and Justine will know that those boys and uh, their daughter are very, very safe. It's that kind of place, it really, really is. Obviously you can get in trouble if you go looking for it as you can absolutely everywhere. Quite a high police presence as well. People don't tend to notice it, but the police are there, they are in the background, and there are an awful lot of plain clothes policemen walking around as well. And uh, an awful lot of secret services from all sorts of different countries playing spying games wandering around in and around Cyprus. So a very, very safe country indeed. Isn't it Viking Ronnie? Yes, he says, yes, he says. And of course, Ronnie Miller knows that as well because he's a retired policeman as well. Looking forward to seeing you next week, Ronnie. If you come down, drop in the comments and uh, we'll mosey on down and have a coffee or two and have a chat and uh, see what's been going on, shall we? We'll uh, catch up because we haven't actually spoken for a year, is it? Time goes. Where does time go? I'll be in a box soon. Now, I understand many people would like that. I understand that. But uh, not yet. Not today. Although I might get hit round the back of the head with my klaxon. Well, with a klaxon. So, lady, oh, oh, so, so sweet, has told us. Fisherman over there having a bit of a fishing competition, by the looks of it. And there's some Keo beer being delivered to the wood kiosk, as we can see. So, let's head out from the harbour up to the Paphos Mal. And uh, so you get your bearings. This is where the promenade joins the harbour, or the harbour joins the promenade. The cafeteria on the corner there is called the harbour. We are now heading up the road, which will take us to the Paphos Mal roundabout, and of course the Paphos Mal. Again, a very, very nice place to go and visit, especially as it gets hotter in the summer. Take you 10, 15 minutes to walk from here to the Paphos Mal. And of course, once you're in there, fully air conditioned, plenty of coffee shops, plenty of places to get food and of course all of the brands of shops that most of us are familiar with Zara you know if your ladies if your name is Baroness Lady Louise that's probably where you went in there and flexed the Baron John's credit card and I think uh, baby uh, Barnhart went as well probably twisted Harry the keeper's arm to get her to buy something that's for sure plenty of shops in there that are all familiar and of course one or two that are not so pop in and have a look you can spend a good two or three hours in there that is for sure feel sorry for the men but that's the way it works that's our job isn't it there we are as you can see the traffic is building up people are slowly but surely coming into town getting ready to open their businesses or coming down to work those kind of things we're now going to enter the area of the well, catacombs is what it is, if you want to go hunting around. And you've got some archaeological sites, and then on the left-hand side, you've got the entrance to the Pathos Skywalk. That's just over there. 
Take you about 10 minutes, get you to walk over the road. We're now gonna go under it just over here. Get a great view down towards Keta Paphos and a great view up into the old town as well. This is the Paphos Mall roundabout coming up, which means that that is the Paphos Mall. We're gonna go straight over and head up in the direction of the old town so that you know exactly where you are. And if you're walking from the harbour to the old town, take you around about 25 to 30 minutes, unless of course your name is JJ Tonic, Miss Justine and Mr. Andy, they're pretty fit and they do like a good hike. And they said they did it in about 20 minutes or just less than that. And they rolled all the way back down because on the way down, it's a little bit downhill, so it's even faster. So a big shout out to you, Justine and Mr. Andy. We'll look forward to hunting you down in the Avanti Hotel in September. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the like, click subscribe, and why not come back for a little bit more of my madness. If you keep going for another, what, half a mile, you will be in the old town. You just keep going straight. It's that simple. And uphill a little bit, and then at the top of that hill, take a left, Kennedy Square, and you're in the old town. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you very, very soon.